Nurgle should be back there. Should we wait for Lord Athos? If you're looking for me, I'm right here. Lord Athos! You're late, Greybeard. Well, were you successful? I was. Use this magic tome. What is it? A legendary item. Aerola. The strongest light magic wielded by Saint Elamine herself. With this, we should be able to rend Nurgle's dark cloak and do him much harm. And these two have been infused with magic that makes them more effective against Nurgle. To Randall for Elowid, and for Hector, our mods. It's... I can feel it already. Its power is beyond words. Incredible. With this I know I cannot fail. And Lindus, this is for you. Hmm? What blade is this? A spirit-inhabited sword. The partner of the Manikati. This is the Soul Kati. It's not a legendary item, but its blade con contains much power. Thank you. Nils, is Nurgle back there? Mm, I sense tremendous power. What could it be? I feel something really odd. He should have lost most of his henchmen in that last battle. But... Mm, I read energy too, if only a little. Nils is right, the sense of it is different than before. Brace yourselves. He is formidable. We understand. Let's go, everyone. Shy Guy, this is it. The last battle. Lord Athos spoke the truth about Nurgle. Average men cannot hope to stand against him. Ordinary weapons hold no power against him. Those who go with us, they must be chosen carefully. Those that will be going with us are Elowid, Nils, Hector, Lynn, Raven, Florina, Sane, Oswin, Heath, Sarah, and Jafar. And last but not least, Athos. He is the final character that we will be recruiting on our journey. Let's go over him. So the very first thing you might notice about Athos is that he doesn't have any growth rates. He has an S rank in every kind of magic in the game. He can use every kind of magic, every tome, every staff, everything. And to boot, he comes at max level and with incredible, incredible stats. He is one of the most powerful units that I've ever seen. Not just in this game. And <laughs> there's a reason they only give them to you for this fight. Anyway, I gotta do some prep, pass out those legendary weapons, and then we'll be off. Alright, we are all ready to go. We're going to get a reading before we head out. And by a reading, I mean an augury. So... You don't need an augury. I believe that's the only time he says that. So it's all down to us. You also cannot check the map during this bat before this battle. Lord Elwood, Lord Hector. Merlinus, thank you for everything. You're made of sterner stuff than I'd imagined. Thought you'd have fled by now. I thought you as I thought as much. You're not taking me with you. Oh That's disgusting. Cry if you must, but do something about that runny nose. What are we supposed to do? You can't fight, so you, we can't afford to take you with us. Take this and return to Fargus's ship. What is this, if I may ask? A letter of introduction. Take this to Ostia, and you'll be able to do good business. Do you'll be able to do good business there? Of course, if we fail in our mission, it's just a worthless slip of paper. But I must protest. 
For the rest of my days, I vowed in my heart to continue serving you both. Please, oh please, do not abandon me. Merlinus. Then go get on that boat and pray for a safe return. Please. Have faith in us. Wait for us. I I understand. Till the end of time, my lord. I will wait for you to the end until the end of time. Please come back safely. Please. Yeah, okay. We're going. Bye. We'll be back. Nurgle. Ah, you're here. But you're too late. The gate's already opened. I will claim the mighty quintessence of dragons. I will become stronger and move ever closer to perfection. How many lives must you steal before you're satisfied? And it's not only those who die. What about the ones left behind in pain and sorrow? What about them? I am who I am. The pain of others I do not feel. The sorrow of others does not touch me. Death feeds me. Death pleases me. I am the essence I consume. You fools will become corpses here because I wish it to be. Rise and come forth, my servants. This... You seem impressed with my work. Or perhaps it's just you've seen some, you've seen a familiar face. That's Marquis Laus. And those are Black Fang members. What have you done, Nurgle? These morphs you see before you, I've given them the abilities and appearances of the people whose essences I used to craft them. Well, that's not entirely true. I'm, I've made them far more powerful. This is the ideal plan for hypocrites like you. Especially you, Elwood. You continue to regret causing harm to anyone, even enemies. However, no matter the reason, once the deed is done, it's done. Whether you enjoy it or not is irrelevant. The result is the same. It is not the same. If you feel no horror for taking someone's life, then you yourself are not alive. <laughs> Your weakness runs deep in you, you can never understand. The concepts of good and evil are devoid of any meaning, any value. These ideas prevent humans from liberating their own strength. Such foolishness. The ultimate foolishness of the human race. Nurgle, after all these years, you have not stopped to reconsider your ideas at all. The same is true of you, Athos. You must see the truth of it. All living creatures take energy from somewhere. We all use it to create. To change it into something better. The knowledge of Arcadia has shown us the road to the ultimate, ultimate transformation. And yet you will not take that road. Why do you reject the obvious? I am not opposed to the quest for power, for greater knowledge. However, that quest must be driven from within. To fuel your, your quest with the stolen lives of others, this brings not wisdom, but abomination. <laughs> I remember. I still remember. Those words are unchanged from when you first said them ages back. When you and the dragons conspired to bury me. Look at this wound. The wound I took from your magic. It was a mistake. The only person who understood the man... The only person who understood, the man I thought was my truest friend. It was a mistake to try and destroy me. <laughs> it confirmed some things for me. That, that trust brings betrayal. That friends bring weakness. If that is what you learned from your encounter, then you are a fool. Do you believe for a moment that when, when wise Athos struck down his dearest friend, he felt nothing? His heart was torn in two, and yet you refused to understand that. Elowin. Nurgle! I will defeat you. Here. Today! But even now, there is no hatred in my heart. 
You, who were born human. You, who lost the heart that defines your humanity. For you, I have nothing but pity. Pity. <laughs> Amusing. A weak fool like you has pity for me. Interesting. Now, if you hope to defeat me, you may have your chance. Of course, you will have to best my morphs first. Listen to me. This is my fight now. Mine alone. Everyone stay back. Hey, what are you talking about? We've come this far together, haven't we? That's right. I've said it before, but we all feel the same way. Hector, Lindis. Don't forget me, Lord Elwood. And Ninian. I'm sure she's here as well. Ah, Shy Guy, you too? If I die here, so be it. I won't hold back. This is for all the lovely ladies I've yet to meet. I, I'll do my best. For the honor of the Knights of Ostia. For Burn, land of my birth. May I return to it soon. Bless Saint Illumine. Grant us strength to win this with ease. Everyone. Let's go. We've got to stop Nurgle. All right. First things first, we have to fight Uhai. And I think we should start off by dealing with these archers. All of these enemies are much, much harder than they were before. And they are honestly pretty tough. Um, I think the best thing to do would be try to get rid of some sort of attack. What would you do against me? I'd kill you. 30 damage. 15. So, if they both hit me, that would be... That would be 30. Or that would be 45, rather. I could heal him, though. Or that. That works too. I uh, want to keep uh, all of our flyers out of range here. So he can hit two spaces out. So I want to go here. Um, yeah. Come on, out here. Alright. Um, maybe if I put you here, you won't do anything. Um, Athos. Uh, I did gear Athos up with some new equipment. Um, by new equipment, I mean new spells, but... Uh, he is extremely powerful, like I said. Um, okay, I think... I think that'll actually be all I'm going to do for now. Have a little head down here. Um, Hector can come out here. I don't mind. And... Other than that, I just kind of want to keep everyone down here for now. I'm not even going to worry about anything else yet. There's one of the morphs down. Alright, Sane, level up. Not really worried about who I'm giving the kills to anymore. Alright, one up there came, came loosed. Loosed. Loose. Uh, Killing Edge, Silver Sword. Um, Killing Edge is probably the best bet. Alright, now we can give Hector the kill. Why not? Uh, let's show off our mods. Why not?
right. I'm gonna drop the hammer, because we don't really need it anymore. Uh, we don't have an archer with us, uh, unfortunately, so... And I don't think Lin has... Lin does not have the bow skill. So... Uh, we're gonna do some healing here, though. Uh, use Mend on Sane. Alright. Now, I, I imagine Athos has a pretty high resistance. So we're gonna head up there to deal with these mages. And, uh, I'll send Raven with him. Just in case any other guys show up. Lin. Uh... Keep everyone else down here, I think, though. Except for Florida. Because why not? Uh, let's focus on getting these guys out of here. Alright. Oh. One of them has bolting, good to know. Alright. So now I think I'll have them split off. Uh, you are Brendan, hey? Okay. And just regular warrior. Alright. I'll move you in here. Have you stay there. don't want to equip anything quite yet, so I'm just going to go with four blaze. Um, I think you actually could use door keys if you really, really wanted to. But I I don't really need to. Um, uh, they're insane. Head up this way, I guess. I'm feeling this door that I'm near is gonna be, like, the last one to open. I should probably turn on Athos' animations. He's really, really powerful and his animations all look really cool. Guess Penced. Get rid of Fembulver, or whatever it's called. It's the, I think that's the least powerful one we've got. Oh, that was close. I didn't even think of that. Oh, crap. Well. Alright, let's see what, the, what Athos can really do. Nils. Get right in there. Just take Kenneth right out. And he got a crit. Got a loose. Two. All right. Uh, let's see. I can probably just lure him out, right? Use those. Your axe a one to two range? No. So you can hit me, but only one of you. Oh no, you have a bow. Never mind. Well, that won't work. Um. Hmm. This could be a problem. Uh, I 
could just come in here, try and take one of them out. Uh, I think this is my best shot. I think that'll be fine. We'll bring Sarah up just in case. Um, yeah, no. I think every, everyone else is safe for now. Uh, we'll use a physic to heal up Sane, just to top him up. Get Sarah a level up. Defense might be might be needed, so that that was good. Gonna go straight for him. All right. I'm gonna have to throw away a spell. That sucks. I really should have thought this through a bit more. But... All Right. Another morph down. Uh, let's see. Alright, gonna drop Eclipse now. Okay. Darren. Alright, what do you got? You got a Lance? Rex has to. Can't kill us. So this is free damage. Uh, he can um, kill Osman. Pretty sure, yeah, he'd kill him if he went for him. Uh, so I'm actually gonna move Osman out of the way. Uh, maybe I can bring. If I can just get one good hit on him. Yeah, that'll work perfectly, actually. There, this way now. He softened up Brella to go in with Durandal. Silicos. Um, we'll drop the javelin for it. And that'll be a good weapon. Another good weapon to give to Hector. Um, don't think either of you can reach us yet. Uh, given, I gave someone a Lance Reaver. It was Jafar. Not sure if I want to quite chance that yet, though. I'll just bring Athos back down, and then we can use Nils to get Sarah to heal. Got to keep everyone pretty high high HP for this fight. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to check. Oswin needs healing. Other than that, I think that's it. They're on their way. Bottom one's open now, too. Who's it got? Jeremy and Ursula. They're gonna be a pain, I can already tell. Okay, let's let's go in with our mods. Maybe or maybe the hammer. Hammer actually will work better, so let's do that. 
Um, Athos can't reach unless we use Nils, which honestly is probably worth it, so get him over there. Yeah, Athos is pretty great, and there's nothing really wrong with him carrying you, in my opinion, anyway. Okay. Oriola, it's 22, crit chance, 30. Uh, that, uh, Luce is right now the best. Yeah, let's go with Luce. And hope that we get a crit. We did not get a crit. Uh... Twenty-eight damage. I don't think that would actually be enough to put us down. Uh, but he will—he won't do nearly as much to Hector. So I think we'll just go with this. Uh, we'll go with the hammer. All right. Now, does anyone have any sort of way to deal with... Oh, I guess you could use your range attacks, but they don't do anything. Uh, shine? That'll actually kill him. So it almost gets another level up. Uh, Rex Hosta... Yeah, that's worth giving to someone. Uh, how about we get rid of the warp staff? Much as I don't want to, but we probably should. Lance Reaver. Oh wait, he has an axe. And, uh, uh, screw it, killing edge. There we go. Need Heath out of here. Uh, what do you got? You've got Excalibur. So we probably want to send in Athos and Florina for the resistance. We should also probably get people down here. Because after we get rid of these guys, then the bottom will be safe. Um. Chlorine is actually within range. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I think we'll be fine, though. Can I rescue her? I can. But, okay, what's your magic stat? 24. This is 18, but that's still going to do quite a bit, I think. I don't think it'll be enough to kill her, though. Alright. And it drew both of them out, so that's good. Let's start by going after this guy. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, Soul Cotty. Yeah, that'll work. Quite a bit of damage, but... Um, here. Let's get Athos down here. Uh, four blaze. I love Athos's animations. <laughs> Let's 
Excalibur. Alright. 53, 52, 42 is the lowest. So let's drop Aura. Alright, now we do want to whittle this guy down with ranged attacks. Um. Or maybe not even. Yeah, actually, no. This will work. And. We should probably. And yeah, then there's Lloyd and Linus up there. Um. I think they're both sword users, right? Regal Blade. And he has a. And Linus has a brave sword. Um. What do you have? You have nothing. Oh. Alright, well, Raven can kill you then. Alright. Gonna run down here. We'll just heal some people up that have lost a lot of health. Get another one going. Oh, let's heal up Oswin. Alright. Uh, Florina needs, still needs healing, so I'll keep her right here. Uh, then we'll go up here and deal with this guy. Um, Lloyd is just in reach. So we'll kind of get ready here. He is a sword master, so I probably should have been more careful for mods. Oh god. Really hope. Oh my god. The fact that he moved, like, it really scared me. Um, okay. Uh, killing Edge. That isn't gonna work. I might need to have Elwood tag out. Unless Elwood can defeat him in one go. Which he can if he hits, but if he doesn't, then it's not gonna end well. Um, and well, first off, let's get a heal going. I didn't mash the button. What? Well, either way, now Sarah's physic is wasted, her first one, anyway. So let's use Nils. I didn't mean to misclick that. Alright. Okay, um... Yeah, he's gonna be a pain because... Can't just get rid of him. Uh... How about... Harmod? Oh, actually... I'm gonna go for this first. I'm gonna go for Killing Edge. Or yeah, Killing Edge has a decent crit chance, but what about using Sarah for damage? No. Okay. Um. I don't think there's a way we're going to be able to put down both of them. So I think we're going to have to rescue Sarah after she heals Ellawood. So I'm going to have Hector run at you. Yeah, 
The only reason he's doubling is because he has a brave sword. And by doubling, I meant quadrupling. But it's quite a bit of damage he did. Okay. Now... Have Sarah run in and mend Elwood. All right. Now we're gonna use Durandal and pray to God that we hit. All right. There's one. Rico Blade. Uh, we'll drop the rape here. And rescue Sarah so that way she can't get killed. And stand in his way so she can't get to Jafar. We'll rescue Nils with someone else. Um, as high as I can go. Now, um, Florina will rescue. Awesome. That didn't change anything, did it? No. Okay. Just making sure. Ugh! I'm like freaking out. But this is the last one. I just have to make sure he doesn't kill anyone. Alright, so I'm back. I have, for the most part, stayed relatively okay, except for Oswin. Um, let's see. How are we gonna take this guy out? 42% chit, chit grants. Nice. Okay. That works. Okay. Alright, now the front is up. Front door is open. Uh, let's see. We want to heal up Oswin. Is anyone else hurt? Sane is one down. Uh, Jafar. Yeah, just want to get everyone completely healed. So I'll heal up. Uh, heal up Sane. What, what, I don't know how bad this is gonna be, so I'm just kind of preparing for the worst. Um, I'll just use a Volunary on Jafar. And let's see. I know this episode is getting really long, and I'm gonna probably split the episode into two parts. And I'm gonna say that that's probably gonna happen right now. They're both they'll both go up on the same day. It's just this way. I don't have too long of episodes. So, yeah, uh, yeah. This will work. So what you've got just two regular morphs and Nurgle himself. All right, and they're on their way down. All right. Oh, oh no. Oh, here come enemies from behind. Looks like we don't get any chance to rest. Uh, let's heal up Oswin before anything. Really don't want him dying on us, so... Uh, I say... You've got... Berserk Staff, and that is not okay. You have a Fortify one. That's alright, I guess, but... I'm just really scared to send Hector up there. So, I think I'm just gonna 
send Athos instead. Um, Alright. Uh, as long as we can stay out of these guys' reach, we should be okay. I don't really see a need to, like, focus on taking them out. Because they're not really that big of a threat. Uh, these guys up here, on the other hand, they're a bit of a pain. So... We're gonna want to proceed with caution here. Alright. I think Nurgle... I don't know what that other... that green is, but... Oh, that was his. Never mind. So how far can we go up? Uh... I think next to Athos is safe. Yeah, next to Athos is safe. And then we'll just have Lynn and Hector behind them. And we'll just... I think we should just move up, honestly. Just keep everyone kind of in a line here. And if we need to, we can turn around and take care of those generals. I don't think they'll be much of a problem, though. Especially because I know Raven is an armor slayer, so... They're gonna stand in our way. Alright. I said I wasn't going to take out these generals, but I think it is a good idea. If nothing else, just to keep the peace of mind there. Plus, they don't seem to be that bad, so... Uh, sane or not. Lots of crits. Alright. Now, uh... Here, what I'm gonna do... Because I think, I think we are still safe here. Now Elwood's in danger. Just Elwood, actually. And I think Elwood will be fine, so... I'm gonna go here, play... There we go. How are you doing on your... It, it, I don't think it actually will show us the stats, unfortunately. Um, okay. I think they're gonna go for Athos anyway. No, they're going for Elowood. Probably shouldn't have the rapier on him anymore. It actually was good against... Uh, I forget who. But it was good against someone, I think, because they were on a horse. Okay. Well, let's take out this guy with the soul cotty. There we go. Nurgle's last line of defense is down. And we have the weapons to take him out, so... Can we reach him, is the question. Not quite. Can if we do this, though? Alright. Now, question is, will it be enough? No. 
Like, we're gonna need everyone. Uh, everyone with the ability to take him out. That's 26 damage right there. But we don't want Athos to die either, so... I think I'll pull back and do some quick healing. Hopefully he won't attack us. He's a boss, so he shouldn't. But he might, and if it, he did, that would really, really suck. Uh, physic. So we're gonna wanna use it on... Uh, we're gonna wanna use it on Hector. He's up, he's out front, so... And pretty much anyone else who can fight needs to be up here. I don't actually know if anyone else can hurt him, but it'll look cool. So, you know, that's that's always good. Uh, we don't have any way to heal, so... Alright. Nope, he's not coming. In fact, I think we might actually be able to get him now. But I'll start out with a boost. Um, okay. So Lin actually can't reach him. So let's start out with Athos. Uh, we do have weapon triangle disadvantage, though. Unless we... So, Oriola. Yeah, I think that's our best bet. Nurgle. <laughs> Athos. Take a good look at me. At my tremendous power! Already, words are useless. As an old friend, I will fulfill my duty. Athos's animations are up. That was a really good time to to mess that up. Um, okay. The silver axe is actually a, a better idea. Fourteen times two is twenty-eight. Nurgle! So you've come, Hector of Ostia. Your existence itself was my greatest mit miscalculation. If it had been only Elowood, this, would, this could have been already over. So, my little miscalculation, I will erase you. And leave no trace remaining. Do your worst! Nurgle! So you're here, Hallowood. I thought losing Ninian might distract you. Have you forgotten her so quickly? How heartless. I haven't forgotten. I'll never forget. It was my mistake that killed Ninian. Because of that, I will fight. I will not run away and hide in sorrow. I'm going to put an end to all of this. Why? 
Why must I lose? Ugh, not like this. I will not die like this. With my last breath, tremble in despair. <laughs> It's finished. Yes, at long last. Father. What was that? What on earth? What happened? It can't be. Those dragons. Nurgle's final warning. This is what he meant. What a calamity. If dragons return to this world, the continent will be ash in less than a month. This must end at any cost. I will stop it. So these are dragons. Look at the size of them. I've got a bad feeling about this. I, my legs are trembling just standing here. There are three of them. I don't know if we can do this. I, we need some kind of help. I'll do what I can. I'll halt the dragons. Strike there. So powerful. Can they be stopped? Lord Athos, flee! If we can't stop them here, we are lost. Bramamund! Preparations took time. Okay, I require everyone's strength. Gather here, the legendary power. Ah, this light. Uh, what is it? Look, there. Bring her back. Let the dragon's girl's soul be restored. Ninian! Ah, Ninian! Where... Where am I? Girl with the exalted blood of dragons. Use that power to appease them. Ah, it's not possible. Use my power in this world. Do you not feel it? Your power returning. What? Ah, yes. I will try. That's enough. I'm sorry, this is not your fault. I'm sorry. No. No more. Ninian! It's okay, she only fainted. Thank goodness, Ninian. One dragon still remains. Leave the girl to me, I shall tend to her. Chosen ones, you must stop the final dragon. You must save us all. Alright. Let's start out by bringing out Athos and using Arola. I think. That's 32 times 2. Okay. 
you want to do as much as much damage to the dragon as possible without it hitting you. So 18, I think Aerola is our best pet. Doesn't have any chance to crit, but that's okay. We don't know how much health it has. Next up, we should bring in someone who can hit from a distance as well. Uh, or maybe Florina can try. Brave Lance, zero, zero. Looks like it's only going to be... That's Solkati, that won't do anything. Lin can't do anything. Alright, uh, Hector, Armads. How far can you attack? Really far, so we gotta put you down, like, now. Alright, he's in HP range now. Alright. Nothing else even hurts him. And he can't miss us either. Unfortunately, I'm a little worried our speed might not be good enough. That could be... That would really suck, actually. You know, Lin can't do anything. We might be screwed, actually. Because everyone's at too low health to actually do anything. And I can try with Jafar. Or maybe even magic, but... Okay, let's start by healing up. Let's start by healing up Elwood, I think. I know Athos is at lower health, but... Okay. Jafar has a Worm Slayer, so that might... that might do it. So... That's honestly the only thing I can think of at this point. Probably should have used a buff. Worms there. Okay. Nothing works. Come on, we're so close. I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna matter. Um... Yep, there he goes. He's going for Athos. That sucks. Almost had him, too.
What? I almost wonder if you can get through this. I'm not sure if we can even do this without losing him. I don't actually think we could have gotten through that without losing Athos. Because we're just not fast enough. That really sucks. Alright. I think it might be better just to... just to keep going. I know that I've gone this far without losing anyone, but like... I don't know what to do. <laughs> he just... he does too much damage. And the fact that he went for Athos and not Elwood is really confusing to me. Because he, if he had killed Elwood, which I'm pretty sure he would have. Yes, he's going to kill Hector if I do that. Alright. Well, here's the idea. Heal up Hector. Hector will get a hit in. And then I'll play for Elwood and get the kill. Yeah, like I'm sure you can make it through this without losing anyone, but with my current stats, I don't think I can. I think I would have to have reset in the past to get my... get better stats on level ups. Anyway... As much as that sucks, let's finish this now. Right here. Well done, brave successor to Roland. It's finally over. Finally, everything is. Lord Athos! Huh. Looks like I've exhausted my strength. Oh. I'll die before you, friend. I may well follow you soon. For now, I will sleep again. Elwood, Hector, Lynn. I've lived a long, long time. But now, I'm done. Do not grieve. Soon I will be with long absent friends. I have no regrets. Lord Athos! Now, my friends, my family, let me give you a parting gift. As I lay dying, I see many things. I see the future. Oh, why? Why is this not now? Neither Brahmamendo nor I will be here to help a land in need. What do you see? An evil star rises and burn. All of a leave will once again be a wash in blood. 
but do not fear. Once again, Lycia brings hope. Children of fire. Everything. Lord Athos, even at the end, he thought of us. Great beard. Look, both of you. Lord Athos, it's almost as though he's smiling. This world will once again be enveloped by darkness. But at the end, a saving light shall rise. Indian. Lord Elowood. Good to see you, Ninian. Lord Elwood, I worried you. Uh, I... I wish to apologize. What? What do you mean? I was the cause for all of this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. Ninian? You're on a leap. We were nurtured for our ages in the land of our birth. Even after humans invaded and drove us out. Not a day passed that I did not think of it. I yearned to see it once again. Our homeland. Those children, the fire dragons, they were like me. We knew that it was forbidden, and yet we answered Nurgle's call and opened the gate. We didn't intend to stay long, just to see home one last time, but Nurgle captured us and it led to this. We humans, we took control of the continent like it was our right. We never considered who or what we drove away. Ninian, Nils, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. Lord Elwood, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work, let's work together and think about the future. If the entire continent were made of a, were made a place where dragons and humans could live together, like the hidden city Lord Athos spoke of, Arcadia. What a wonderful world that would be. That's certainly something that won't happen for a long, long time. So we, we can't stay here. The gate is still open. If it remains so, other dragons will certainly pass through. Before that happens, we must return to our world. We must regain our power and seal the gate from that side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? I can't be. Lord Elwood, I am truly blessed that I had the chance to meet you. Please, Please don't forget me. Ninian. Come, Nils. Let us go. We must return to our world. Lord Elowood. Lord Hector. Lady Lynn. Thank you. 
My opinion of humans has changed since meeting you. There are humans in the world we're returning to, too. Finding a way to live together may be hard, but we're going to try. Okay, good luck. I'll miss you. Take care, both of you. Thank you. Be well, everyone. Oh, daybreak. Beautiful, isn't it? Start of another day. Let's go home. Palicia. Shy guy, Can you attend my ascension ceremony? Hector and everyone else is coming. What? These clothes? I look silly, don't I? Formal dress is so stiff. I can't stand it. Ah, everything's finally resolved. Succeed my father as Marquis Ferret. I don't know if I'm equal to the equal to the task, but I'm going to do my best for all the people who live here. Shy guy, you do you really have to have to go? No, I understand. I'm sure that you have things you must do. Thank you for supporting me in everything. So, Shy Guy, this is farewell. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't... This world wouldn't be here. You have my heartfelt gratitude. Shy Guy. See you again. It's a promise, my friend. Oh. This has been a project. <laughs> and I think that I need to get my thoughts on it. Number one, it is currently 12.40 in the morning. <laughs> that was a mistake. I wanted to record the, the last of this tonight. But, <sighs> closing thoughts. Um, I must start off with why this LP took me so long to do. And that's honestly because I had trouble getting my footing starting this Let's Play. If you aren't in the know, or if you're watching this, you know, now, essentially, if you didn't watch me over a year ago at this point, probably, I've started this Let's Play multiple times, and only this time did I get to Elwood's story, and only this time was I able to pull off the bios the way I wanted to. And I'm really happy that I finally finished this. I feel like this Let's Play, when I look back on it in, you know, five years, ten years, or whatever, whatever I'm doing then, I think I'm going to see this as a very important piece of history in my channel. I had never made 
bios for anything before. Um, special thank you to my friend Colin, aka um, when, when he started, when this let's play started, he was known by he was known as Secret Septile. Now he goes by Apex Online. Um, special thank you to him because he made the bios possible. Um, he also helped me research growth rates and all that stuff. Um, special thank you to uh, Serene's Forest. They didn't help me personally, but that's where I went for all of my data when it came to maps, when it came to growth rates, when it came to all of that. Um, and yeah, just thank you to everyone who supported me for this Let's Play. Because I know it's been a long time and not everyone is into strategy games. But you might be asking what is next? And that is a bit of a tough question. Because I think I'm going to be dropping an LP slot. I don't know yet, so do not take me at my word. But I think I might only be doing two Let's Plays at a time from now on. Which is actually how it was when I originally started doing Fire Emblem before I deleted it and created the playthrough you just watched. Um... I just, I'm so glad that I got to play this. This is, well actually when I started this Let's Play, this was my favorite Fire Emblem game and it's still a very good contender, but I think Three Houses has usurped it. Um, I wish I could have shown off more and I might in the future, I'm not sure. Um, I am pretty upset that I got all the way to the end and then I just couldn't see a way of getting Athos through that final fight but other than that that was you know it was a perfect deathless run except for Athos um, I just I'm glad that I finished this let's play not because I want it to be over, or not because I didn't have fun doing it, because I'd never do a Let's Play that I didn't have fun doing. But I'm glad this is over because it means I can move on to bigger and better things. It means I can move on and be greater, and it'll... It, I've already decided that I want to do more Fire Emblem in the future, so don't think that this is a one-time series. Um, I want to come back and I want to do other games in the series. Um, I would like to do the sequel to this game, but I have to play it first. But, as for now, I'm glad that I got to do this. Also, now that this, now that this is over, I get to rant about the, the Wii slash Wii U. So during those cutscenes where the text scrolls really slow and I have trouble reading it, I mean, I always have trouble reading the text apparently, but during like that last one and when Ninian turned into a dragon and the text scrolls really slow, I can't control that. And because of that, the Wii remote that is hooked up to my Super Nintendo controller that I use for the for the Let's Play it turns off because it's not being used and the screen goes dark and it ruins the scene it happened during two of the most important scenes in the game and it's really upsetting now aside from that I'm going to talk about something a bit more positive here I could not show at least half of this game's lore because there's so many support conversations that I just was not able to show because I couldn't use every unit. And they add so much lore. There's so many things that you would just not know. 
if you didn't get the support conversations. Like, you find out a bit about who Dart is. And I had to do my best not to spoil things. Uh, in particular, when I was trying to give figure out who to give the boots to. And I went to give them to Ninian. I remembered that she dies. So I wasn't sure if Nils would inherit that. I'm pretty sure he does, that he does, but still. Um, figuring out a team was the hard, was really hard because I had only played through the game once prior to this. Um, I had never used Heath seriously, but he turned out to be one of my best units and one of my go-tos. And I had, I had never done all the side missions before. This was my first time. But I'm just really glad that I'm done with this Let's Play. Not, like I said, not because of negativity or anything, just because of the fact that I get to I get to do a new thing and do it better because I learned things here. I have a specific story about this game that I'm going to tell after I finish this next point, but I have seen firsthand my own growth over the course of this series because... When I had to make a bio for Carla, I didn't have one. Like, when, when I needed the bio for Carla, I didn't have one. That's why it looked different than the rest. And I guess back when I was planning this series originally, I just was like, well, I'm not going to be able to get Carla, on, so I don't need to make a bio. And that's I don't like that thinking. Um... And that was why I made one. And I instantly saw my improvements on biomaking skills. Um, you might have noticed that there was the Swordmaster uh, text with an underline underneath it. And it was in a different spot. And it looked way, way better. And that was only a, in a year. That didn't take very long. I mean, a year's a long time. But, like, you gotta understand that I didn't think I had improved at all. And that's that's part of why I'm saying that I think this Let's Play is going to go down in history for me as one of my most important Let's Plays. Because it was my first really, really big project. I remember, you know, starting out, I did a Bakugan Battle Brawlers Let's Play, which I honestly really regret deleting because... Yeah, it sucked, and my my microphone wasn't set up right. It's still I still have audio issues to this day because I don't know a whole lot about that kind of stuff, and that's okay. Um, but like growing as a content creator is one of the coolest things that I think has ever happened to me because. I have these tangible things that I can look at and see how much better I've got. You know, I look at my old Undertale Let's Plays and I just want to do it again. I want to do better. And I do plan on returning to Undertale, but like, it's going to be so weird. And anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I haven't even mentioned what's on screen. Uh, they're talking about what happened to the characters after. I figured I'd just let you guys read it while I rambled on about stuff. <laughs> um, only ever lost one party member. Well, we lost a lot, but I reset for all of those. But not for not for Athos. So that is it. Thanks for coming, Hellwood. Hector, long time no see. First time since my brother's funeral. Fifteen years now. And look at us. We've both grown older. 
Haven't we? Uh-huh. Time certainly does speed right by. My father's disappearance. His death, the fight with Nurgle. Those fire dragons. The memories are so vivid. It might have happened yesterday. Nurgle. What a black heart he was. I've had enough of I've, I've had enough of battles like that. Hmm? Is that your son over there? I've been wanting to introduce you. But there's been no chance. Roy! Come here. Did you need something, Father? Say hello to Marquis Ostia. Yes, sir. A pleasure to meet you, Lord Hector. My name is Roy. Roy, is it? Nice to meet you, lad. Well, I guess that means I should introduce my daughter, then. Alina. What? Are you being shy? You don't have to be nervous. This is your father's old friend. And his son. Hello, Lena. This is Roy. He's the same age as you. Nice to meet you. Lena? Let's be friends. We can play over there. It's okay. Go on. Ah. What a cute child. Could think she took after her mother. What? She looks just like me. Doesn't she? You're a sarcastic one, Marky Ostia. Come on now. You're the one putting on airs. Marquis Ferre. <laughs> the only thing older about you is your appearance. Don't tell me you still behave like that even now. That you're the Marquis. I'm always on top of my duties as Marquis. But um, when I'm around you, I want to relax, so please. Hector. By the way, I heard that the King of Bern died. It was fairly sudden, too. I can't be certain, but according to one of our spies, he was killed in an assassination attempt. A Prince Zephiel. The Prince? I trust he was unharmed. It's a strange tale. At first, I'd heard that the Prince was killed. Then new information came, three days later, saying that it was the King who had died. Do you remember Arcsage Atho Athos's prediction? Is something happening in Burn? I don't know. Father! Can I show Roy my pony? Yes, go ahead. Be careful. Okay. For the sake of our children's futures, I'll stop anything that may, ha may happen. I'll sacrifice my life to make it so. Once again, Lycia brings hope. That turns out to be wrong. No, it must happen.
For what reason have you awakened a demon dragon? Who are you? Dragon. <laughs> 